Okay, now it's the now it's working. Okay, so I th assuming this is record, it's recording. But uh, this is this is a devlog, of whatever I have done on the RPG that I'm working on, which is not much, but uh, it's a lot compared to what I had before, which was nothing. So here's what I have done right now. Since I I've done a couple of things right now, so so I was gonna work on some tile sets today, so I'd look more pretty when I work when I do like oh, but who gives a shit? <laughs> Um, so uh, this is RPG Maker MZ, by the way. I have no idea how to use use it. Um, but I have you know a couple. I downloaded a book on it. I'm, I'm using. I have a book on A Sprite right here. I got fucking you know college textbooks and shit set up. It's everything like that. So so firstly, um, here's the only here's the only tile I've done, which is you know placeholder window tile and whether else there's i could i could honestly like go and tile everything that i want now and then replace it with my own tile set later but this is just placeholder shit anyway it doesn't really matter but um so this is the main character that's mika she's the main character that's uh the b boss battle test this is the shop test and this is the uh uh what events have this is this is um the test for um a chest chest test um, so I don't think I have this one, but anyway, so here's that, and let me start the game. And then here's the the title screen. This is it's the fucking. Oh, I forgot the. I'll go through that later. So here's the fucking only room I have set up, right? Um, so you walk over there, auto on auto auto run or whatever. I set the character though to automatically be like. Level two. That's her portrait. Um, so you could probably, I could probably change those settings in the settings, but it doesn't matter. Also, this is fucking loud as shit. So yeah, by default, uh, UI doesn't really matter. So, but this version, you could play it on your iPhone, your, your Android. So just in case, there will be some kid out there like, can I place my phone? And like, yes, you actually can. Command remember. Uh, these are your equipment, just the scythe and the dress. I, have a, I don't have that much story written. It's not really going to be that long of a game. Heal. This is the placeholder, but 50 is a little much. Ice damage. Like only, like, I don't know the fucking formulas. I'm trying to figure that shit out. And nothing really in particular. The song. This is supposed to be a snowy area, a snowy area. Not right now, it's not, but it sure, sure might eventually be. <laughs> this is the uh, anim the, the walking animation I have, the Dragon Quest One forward-facing animation, placeholder, anime, it's a pile of sludge on a rock. This is the battle theme, by the way. I'll let you listen to it a little bit. I just w finished it. Mm. I might upload it separately after this, actually. But yeah, you might as well do the whole thing. But I'll keep upload it separately, just in case. Not really that much I even worked on. That, that's a so there's that 
after battle theme goes back to the thing i had uh really i was just figuring out the like why wasn't ice doing any damage but apparently it's set to mp damage like why the fuck is it not doing any damage with little glob things and but they don't have any mp so i was like it, that's that's how it does like you know that's why i might set the default walking speed to just this and you can't change it maybe running shoes i don't know so here's this you open the chest Give you five potions. Remember the ch open chest for more items and friends. And then you get an, a potion, which is not, uh, it's a lot. It's, it's obviously test stuff. Can't use it if you're full on health. Also, peep the, the unique sound effects. I wanted to sound like GTA San Andreas. <laughs> It does. It does sound exactly San Andreas. Yeah. So here's a, um, the save spot. I need to change that sound effect. And here's nice sell potions. Don't ask questions. And I raid this one. The soda. Mmm. Two. I'll get two sodas. I can't sell anything either. Why would you be able to sell back, stack something to someone? I don't want this to sound like a J Dilla. If you're going to be in the shop for like a while and buying shit, it might as well sound cool. I might remove that sound effect later. I don't know, I might warm up to it. I might have to put it down an octave. That shit sounds hard though. That shit sounds really hard. I love, I love using samples, having more people should use old samples. Yeah. Ah, uh, my favorite morally dubious woman. That's her. It's also yeah. You can just go into um thing. Heal, but it won't do any fucking healing. So yeah. Guard, but <laughs> they don't have any other strength to even do any damage. They're basically just fodder enemies. I don't think they even- I don't think they even caught them to do any damage at this point. They have an attack of zero. <laughs> or something. It's like something ridiculously small. They're just like- I need to make them like actual like- <laughs> Actual functioning enemies. <laughs> they, I mean, they're not threatening, but I mean, fucking look at those things. Look, look at them. Can they, you think this thing could kill you? Not really. Good old Globby. Ah, uh, my friend. Hmm. Why you had to kill a mollusk? It's a mollusk, you know. They're endangered. And click is the currency, by the way. But yeah, you can technically level up. I'm already level two, though, so I can show off the ice move. Um. Also, the screen's small. Like this, the screen is small because uh. I don't know, actually. This is the boss. It's Hocus. Another body sprite. Yeah, didn't even fight me. That was me. I recorded that. And this is the boss battle thing. Forgot how much health I gave her. Probably not that much. Or maybe it was a lot. I don't know. I don't think I even like designed an endpoint for this fight. Necessarily. Again, it's just placeholder shit. But I might keep the sprites because I don't feel like remaking them or anything. You ever play that game, uh, Copper Odyssey? No? You ever play any RPG Maker game? Yeah. Also, her horns are like drastically bigger than they used to be. And her body's not shaped well. But, I mean, this is like the equivalent of me drawing on like paper with a fucking marker you know if i want to see it to be good then i'd like hire somebody 
<laughs> but I might change the interface later, but that's like a least of my worries, honestly. And the main thing is that, like I wanted the, the initial version of this at least to be like designed only for Miku, if only, only one character, like Dragon Quest 1, you know? Uh, it wouldn't have any cool mechanics or nothing. No nothing. Wow, what a fucking pushover. What a fucking pushover. <laughs> wow. Bitch. Anyway. Well, yeah, that's the end of, of, the, of what I got done right now. Uh... I, I, I might keep this like sprite. It's very funny. Just like waddling. But yeah, that's the issue. Like it's, it's going to be set permanently to that battle theme though. You know? So that's the issue. I didn't realize that until I like a uh, thing. But I guess I could just like, change that by setting each encounter to have its own like. Yeah, because that's the default for now. So I don't know. Yeah, I just really, yeah, I think that might be the, the default permanently. But either way, yeah, that's what I got done for now. Most of the stuff I got done is like sketching and like a little bit of writing and I'm imagining a lot of imagining my imagination. So that's it. I mean, if you're wondering how the RPG was going, I was going to work on it more whenever I, you know, what life stuff wasn't in the way. But I decided that like today I was like, OK, you know, what? let me do a little bit more on that before I uh, forget that I even started it completely. And also, this is this is specifically to upload so I can show people that I ever started working on something at least a little bit, <laughs> because it's, you know, you know. <laughs> anyway, bye.